You're listening to the Literati Records Podcast. Welcome to episode 14 of the Literati Records podcast. I'm your host for the day, Marcus. Today's show features a 2010 interview I did with Greg Ginn, legendary guitarist and songwriter for punk band Black Flag. He is also the founder of arguably two of the most influential independent labels of all time, SST and Cruise Records. Artists such as Black Flag, Meat Puppets, Husker Du, Sonic Youth, Soundgarden, Dinosaur Jr., and of course the Minutemen were all at one time on SST Records. With such a historical list of artists, it was my pleasure to sit down and chat with the founder himself. But before we get into the feature interview, I want to remind everyone that we are giving away a signed copy of Talia Zedek's latest release, Via, to a lucky member of our mailing list. So if you haven't already, get over to www.literaterecords.com and click on the show notices link and get signed up. And don't forget, you can check out the complete track listing for today's show in the show notes. Now, here's our feature with Greg Ginn. I'm here at the High Dive with Greg Ginn. Greg, great show tonight. Well, thank you. What was the biggest obstacle you faced in starting SST or Cruise Records? Well, um, just learning how to do it. When um, SST first started in the... Really, we first started getting it started in 1976. There weren't a lot of small independent labels, especially in rock. There were very few. So a lot of it, we just had to learn by doing it. Um, And now um, it's a lot different. People can uh, see a lot of examples around them as far as putting out music and... um, and, uh, learn that way. So that's probably the the hardest thing at first was just to trial and error to see what works. Sure. Uh, That sort of answered my next question. Were there any labels you admired or fashioned STST after? Well... Was it um, really just kind of you charged ahead with with your own vision? There were some labels, but I didn't, we didn't really know a lot about them. It was like Bomp Records, uh, who put out a lot of 60s things, um, but um, not not really. I mean, there were things coming out on small labels, but uh, I didn't really know them or know how, what they were doing so much. Uh, what types of challenges did you face in balancing Greg in the artist versus Greg in the label owner? Well, it's two different jobs uh, as far as uh, um, um, playing music it's a lot different day to day it's, it's much different the label involves a lot of office work and a lot of administration right and that kind of thing that uh, it's so I kind of like the balance of of working and also playing music sure. Um, is there anything in particular you would attribute SST's amazing roster to, or was it more a matter of being in the right place at the right time? 
Well, um, the bolt. I I don't know. Um, um, that's for other people to to, to figure sure. out. You sure. know. Well, it is an amazing roster. It's well, a lot of great music. Thank you very much. Um, is there anybody you wish you had signed but didn't? Um, no, I can't think of anything. I'm sure. You can only do so much with the resources that you have. So um, I can't say there's anything that I regretted. Well, Greg, Not thank really. you very much for, for meeting with us, and, and it was a pleasure talking to you. Well, thank you very much. It was nice to meet you, Appreciate sir. Appreciate it. Have a great night. Likewise. Keep